Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. How's everybody doing this fine Sunday morning? I believe it is. Yeah, let's look. Yeah, supposedly it's Sunday. <laughs> you know, as a truck driver, sometimes you forget what day it is. Especially as a long haul driver. And you know why? It's because you work pretty much any day of the week. You don't really get a five to eight job where you're home every weekend and you're you know you never know when you're going to be home so sometimes you kind of especially if you're on the road for a good while you sort of forget what day of the week it is yeah that's the hole i went through last night oh that was a bad hole there <laughs> as you pull into this parking lot here So we are now finished doing our trailer switch up here and I went to back to the Flying J up here and we went up here to uh, this Tim Hortons up here that's here to the left I guess I don't know if the camera is going to be able to see it but uh, yeah, I went over there to the Tim Hortons, had me a good cup of coffee, and I got me a coffee to go. And uh, got us a sandwich there, a chicken salad sandwich. That's what it's called. In 100 meters, take the entrance to the right on so we, uh, Edmund, Queen Elizabeth I. I. Highway. We shall be good to go now. Now the GPS is wanting me to go some back roads up there, but uh, I ain't doing that. I am going straight south to Calgary and then uh, straight east on Highway 1. I don't want to go uh, these back roads. I talked to my friend that used to drive this area all the time. And he said it's not even worth going these back roads, even though it's shorter. It's definitely not worth going it, he said, so uh, I kind of tend to agree. I don't think it's worth going that way, and uh, plus, uh, if I go up to Calgary, I'm going to get a chance to see JP for a few minutes again. In 100 meters, take the entrance to the right on I-2 yeah. South Calgary. And uh, the reason why I want to see him well, first of all, he's my friend, and I, I like him. He's a very nice guy. And second of all is, uh, when we met up there uh, a couple of days ago, I was going to give him some business cards, and I completely forgot. And he did too, I think. So now I want to meet up with him and give him a few business cards, and he can hand out a few business cards to his friends and family. So they can start watching my uh, channel as well, you know? Yeah. So, let's make our way down to uh, Calgary. I know GPS is going to be screaming at me. I know, make a U-turn, make a U-turn, or take this exit, take that exit. Nah, we're not going to do that until we get to Calgary. That's right. Four kilometers. Take exit 397. Hey, here he goes. Now he's screaming at me. <laughs> I know that the GPS was going to do that, but uh, I don't care. I need to go to Calgary and then go east. I don't want to ride back roads. But we are all set to go now. Like I said, we done our trailer switch. We had a bite to eat. We have a coffee to go. We're good to go. I think so anyways. 
So let's get on down the road and let's have ourselves a fantastic Sunday. Thank you guys for joining me on today's vlog. I appreciate it very much because without you guys, there wouldn't be no Trucker Rudy channel. That's right, because if nobody is watching, who would I be making the videos for? Nobody. <laughs> so uh, I appreciate you guys. And uh, you guys are a fantastic audience to me. I don't have too many people on my channel giving me a hard time too much or uh, or writing bad stuff about me and stuff like that. And uh, I appreciate those that do give me an honest opinion on stuff, you know? Like the other day I talked about uh, losing weight and stuff like that. I've gotten a lot of people giving their opinion on that and that's fantastic. I love that, you know? I'm the type of person too that uh, I'll give my honest opinion. If somebody is talking about something or whatever on the video, I'll give my honest opinion. I don't, uh, I don't talk around or whatever. I tell you straight up the way I see it. And I appreciate those people that did that. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys. And we'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we've been going for a good while, probably three hours already. And we are now, well, but almost up to Brooks, Alberta again. Yeah, that's right. Been giving her for a good three hours now. Yeah, so that's that's been a good while. I might just stop in here by Brooks. I don't know for sure, but I just might. I just might. But as you can see, it's starting to get a little bit cloudy. I don't know what it is preparing to do, either rain or snow or a mixture of snow and ice or what it's trying to do, but uh, it's trying to get cloudy, so we're going to put the hammer down and uh, get out of this area. Hopefully we can uh, stay ahead of this system, it looks like. But it was very nice and sunny this morning. It really was. <laughs> Me and JP was even joking about it. He said, uh, as soon as I left Calgary, he said it was snowing. And I, I was talking to him yesterday on the phone and I said to him, I said, uh, well, I got good news for you. I said, I'm coming to Calgary tomorrow. And I said, I'm bringing sunshine with me. And sure enough, it was nice and sunny now. <laughs> this morning when I come through Calgary. And then when I left, I said to him, I said, uh, don't be surprised if it starts snowing anytime soon because I left Calgary. <laughs> ah, that's just hilarious, you know. But anyways, pretty much flat land up here. Probably not too interesting to watch, but uh, we got to make some kind of video clip. So we're going to try and do our best to try and make it as interesting as we can. I know it's like I said, it's not the best up here, but hey, we got 607 kilometers to our delivery in Regina. So that means ah, about 6.30 we could be there. Load needs to be there by 9, so we're still on schedule. But I do need to make a pit stop here soon. I need to use the restroom. That's right. And... Uh, I will probably need to fuel up today yet yeah, too, so I'm not sure where I'm going to do that exactly, but uh, I'll probably do that there either in Moose Jaw, Saskatchewan, or maybe I'll do it there just uh, east of Regina there at the New Flying J. I haven't quite decided exactly where I'm going to do. My, my goal would probably be do it there past Regina because by that time I would already have done my trailer switch. So that way I wouldn't be trailer switching until I get to Yorkton, which would probably be late tonight or tomorrow morning I would do my trailer switch. So that way I have less trailer switching to do because if you do trailer switches, you always get a little bit dirty or whatever and run around and do this and that, whatever. So that way I could be a little cleaner when I get home, you know. But we'll see. We'll see what exactly we'll be doing. But anyways, let's get on down the road here and let's see what kind of video we'll be able to show you guys today even though it's going to be a bit of a boring, flat, not even trees in sight pretty much, dry, yeah, not too interesting, but whatever. 
We'll do our best to make it as interesting as we can. Alrighty, guys and gals, we are now officially in Saskatchewan. You know how I like to call it? I say, scratch me one. So scratch me one. Let's repeat that. So scratch me one. That's what I call it. That's what I call Saskatchewan. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys get a good kick out of that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like to call it up here. But oh well, this is pretty much all you see up here. That is, that's a given. Looks kind of dead up here. But they have finally improved the Rogers service up here. You used to not be able to even have 3G internet up here. It used to be just dial up here for a dial up for Rogers up here, pretty, pretty much. Like it wasn't a lot of areas you couldn't even get into Google. I mean, it was so hard. And uh, now they have finally updated the systems. Now, uh, now Rogers has LTL, LTE service all the way across. Uh, Saskatchewan here on Highway 1. I don't know if they got it all the way across 16 yet. I don't think they have it yet all the way across, but up here on uh, Highway 1 they certainly do. So that is uh, one bonus that they have finally done to this system. I am very happy about that. Because, uh, you know, I'm always on the internet. I need it all the time. Yep, but uh, anyways, we're just cruising along here. And I stopped up there earlier in Brooks, Alberta. Take care of some business and then uh, we're back rolling at it again. Went through Madison Hat and then now we're in Saskatchewan. Now we only got about 350 kilometers to go up to Regina to my delivery place. Where are you going to go with that Polaris snowmobile? Right here is no snow. You're going to have to drive a little bit before you hit some snow. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know where you would want to drive with that thing now. It's absolutely no snow, but anyways, as I was saying, I'm 350 kilometers away, so about three and a half, a little over three and a half hours, and we'll be in uh, Regina doing my delivery. Yeah, so that's not bad. That should be about, well, 6.30, quarter to 7. Quarter to 7 I should be there. Yeah, unless I decide to stop somewhere else yet, but other than that, quarter to 7 we should be there and then we'll do our delivery there. Well, we just got to drop our trailer there and then we got to go bobtail over to a different place and pick up an empty trailer there. And then we go to Yorkton, Saskatchewan. Yeah. Oh well. That's the way it is. At least that brings me home. Brings me back home. And then I'm gonna call up my uh, mechanic first thing tomorrow morning. And I'm gonna attempt to see if I can get my truck booked into the shop for Tuesday. I'm still having the ABS sensor issue and it's starting to piss me off now, you know, like it's the second time already I had a truck in the shop to have the ABS sensor looked at and it's still on, it's still not working correctly, so that's starting to get on my nerves a little bit, you know, when things don't work right. I like my truck to work 100% all the time, but I guess I can't have it 100% all the time, but I really try hard to get it working everything the way it should be and keeping it safe out here on the road. And I'm very much for safety, you know. I have limits on it too, you know, like there is certain things that I see that they, things that they call or some shops or whatever calls part of safety. My opinion that doesn't have nothing to do with safety, but you know, I'm very much for safety, but I also believe in that you can overstep the borders, you know, with uh, going too much into the safety thing. For instance, uh, FMCSA wants to call this electronic logbook part of a safety thing. Well, do I 
100% disagree with it? No. Do I agree 100% with it should be part of safety? No, I don't. And I'll tell you why. It's only a problem with those people that drive illegal to start with and that love to drive illegal, that want to drive more hours than they're allowed to. Those are the people that are not safe on the road in my opinion. And for those are the ones that I see it fit to have electronic logs. But those that drive legal for somebody like me and a lot of other my friends, I know most of us here at Penners drive legal. Uh, I disagree with that, but I don't know. I, I don't really see that as a safety thing. I, I see that more as a control control everybody you know but anyways enough of that we won't go into that too much because there's going to be big arguments over that if i talk about that too much we don't need that right but anyways this is about all you get up here in saskatchewan and alberta for a little bit too i guess but pretty much very much boring as you could say <laughs> Yeah, oh well. At least we got miles to go. And not much in between here and there. Not too many towns to slow us down on here on Highway 1, so that's good. But anyways, let's get on down the road and let's see what else we'll be able to show you today. It was five o'clock in the morning And since one o'clock he had been driving Trucker Rudy was unforgiven And with every mile he made a living For the kids and for the wife He tried to live a better life But like Uncle used to say You've been living, my son, by the knife It was just before sunrise And fog was setting in when it hit him and by surprise against the ripper we can't win daddy I see you rocking heaven daddy I see you hit the road daddy I see you rocking heaven Daddy, there is no less load Another truck in the wrong lane A heavy load of propane There was nothing that you could do All I want to do is go with you he was still alive when the flame stroke But it was too late, there was no hope No last goodbye, no more calling home It's time to go When the hammer falls Daddy, I see you truck in half Daddy, I see you hit the road Daddy, I see you truck in heaven Daddy, there is no land 
as low. Well, guys, the sun looks like it's slowly starting to disappear on us. Yeah. Oh, well, that happens every day. <laughs> Believe it or not, it does. It happens every day. The sun disappears on us. Oh, well, nothing I can do about it, right? But yeah, we only got about 114 kilometers to go. Up to Regina to my delivery place. Yeah. It's 5.30 in the afternoon now. So that means about quarter to... Uh, yeah, quarter to seven, I should be there. Yeah, that's what I thought. Unless I decide to stop here before I get there yet, but... Uh, and the last hour and a half, I would say it's been crazy windy up here. Uh, I'm seeing my fuel mileage going down and I'm like almost tipping over here, you know, like just crazy. But we've been able to keep her on the road. Won't say that we've been able to keep her exactly in between the lines, but uh, as close as we possibly could. But yeah, it's it's been crazy windy and my wife was telling me about it yesterday already that uh, was supposed to be windy today in the evening at least at home it was pretty good there for the good uh, three quarters of the day i would say but now it's starting to pick up and since there isn't much out here in saskatchewan for trees it really did something uh this come across the highway there pretty fast you know it picks up momentum i suppose but anyways uh Figured I'd get one last clip in here before it gets dark. Yeah, I'm starting to starting to get a little hungry already, but uh, I don't know if we're gonna be eating anything now. I would really like to stop there in Regina at that uh, Flying J and go take a shower in there, but I might just call it a day in there too. I don't know yet. But then again, maybe not. Maybe not. I will see how I feel when I'm in there. But anyways, we'll make all those decisions when we get there. I would really like to get down to Yorkton tonight. Uh, if it all of a sudden does snow overnight or whatever, then at least I'm over there and I can pick up that heavy load and uh, I won't have to worry about the snow so much, you know. But if it does snow overnight and I gotta go over there with an empty, that kind of makes it hard to go over there with an empty, you know? So anyways, we'll uh, continue on cruising along here. Do our thing and uh, we'll see. We'll see what we'll uh, end up doing for tonight, but I guess you'll have to stick around to find out. Well, 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 guys, we got a few things to talk about. Yeah, it's been a couple of hours since I've been uh, making a video. It's fairly late at night already. I tell you this much, it's after 11 central time now. Yeah, that's right. But that bed up there is calling my name. Yes. And we will hit it very soon very soon as soon as we're done recording this clip but I have a few things to talk about like I said and one of them is uh, if you remember me a few days ago I was complaining about that flying J just outside of Regina that they don't have a restaurant in there so today I asked them I went in there and I fueled up I did my trailer switch in Regina and I uh, went over there and filled the truck up and then I went inside and I uh, got my fuel receipt and uh, I asked him I said uh, how come you guys don't have a restaurant in here you know like I said how are we truckers or how are we supposed to eat and they said no 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 we're working on it they're they're working on getting a restaurant in there it might just be like a subway they said but it uh, would be something I said well that's better than nothing I said I would much rather have a subway in there than McDonald's or Denny's anyways you know we have Denny's in enough places already so we don't really need it in there so Subway is fine with me I like Subway sandwiches you know they're actually pretty healthy I think most of them 
And I got a question the other day and I forgot to answer that one, I think. And that was on the, on the thing where I talked about maybe trying to lose a little bit of weight. And uh, I mentioned that I was eating a lot of Subway sandwiches or whatever. And uh, I got asked what kind of Subway sandwich do I mostly eat. And that is, the answer to that is, let me see if I can get this right. Chicken bacon ranch. That's what they call it. And uh, lately I've been just getting a six inch instead of a foot long. So uh, yeah, I know too much ranch ain't good for me either. That's a lot of fat in there too. So yeah, we're keeping the sausage down and all that. Like not too much mayonnaise, not too much uh, ranch and all that. And uh, well, guess what? We are now officially in Yorkton, Saskatchewan. We are parked and we are done for today. That's right. And we've done our trailer switch up here. We got our load. We're all ready to go. I'll pretty much do the logbook in the morning. And then I got to go over there to the DOT scale and scale this load. To make sure it's legal to haul into the United States of America. That's right. Otherwise they send me back here. But anyways, that's about pretty much... Uh, well, I guess I could say uh, the temperature is certainly dropped tonight. I guarantee you that. Oh, that's crazy. It was like uh, plus over there in Alberta. And I come down here and it was showing minus 14 here now when I was dropping my trailer. So it's cold and that wind is just hauling like crazy. And that windshield, I bet you, is just way more than minus 14. I guarantee you that. But anyways, I won't keep you guys on here for too much longer. So I appreciate you guys watching me. Hey, give me that big fat thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button right there in that corner over there. And you'll get notified immediately on whenever I upload a new video. Yeah. So I hope you like this video. I know it's kind of boring up here in uh, the prairies, but uh, that's all we can deal with. So... We'll catch you again tomorrow. Stick around. We'll see what we come up with. I have heard today already they have closed Highway 1 up there by Portage La Prairie. So we'll keep our fingers crossed tomorrow by the time we get there that it's going to be open. So uh, yeah, could be an interesting day tomorrow, right? So have a good one. We'll catch you tomorrow right here on Trucker Rudy. behind me that day is gonna come